YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to the final part of Totem. We are from the future. We have already finished this game. And I gotta say, you're in for something in this part. We completely lost track of everything. This game is super special. I love this game so much. Uh, and I hope you're excited for this one. This is going to be the end of it all. We are going to do two things this one. I won't spoil too much what it is. I can say, though, you're in for something. This game is just absolutely wonderful. I This game exceeded my expectations. I loved it so much. And I'm going to stop rambling now because you have something to watch. Uh, if you're not subscribed, though, please do, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the last part of Totem. Let's do it. Codename Cow. Date of discovery, April 2nd, 1989. Class test maker. A titanic quadruple robot, it does not have a face. Instead, it has large rotating circular segments placed in the middle. It appears to be extremely patient and has not yet observed, been observed to express any aggressive behavior while idle. It appears to ask questions and go on monologues about philosophy. Its intentions are still not known. It communicates using the large spinner on its face. Big bird, thank you for the five good subs. Thank you so much. Fantastic. I am so excited. Let's see how it looks like. <laughs> and we're going to dive into whatever this monster is. Sean Zyre, thank you for the prime. And Queen Bee, thank you for the biddies. Oh. <gasps> Holy shit. My goodness, <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, hello? Okay, I think it's time to read what we got to do this time. Okay, so. Uh, we didn't actually, in the first two parts, if you watched those, uh, we were not that great at reading this right away. So we're going to do that right now. I'm actually going to move chat over here. I think that's fine. It's not covering up much there. Um, Kyle will need to be satisfied by answering its questions. They seem to be philosophical in nature, particularly about the universe. Goals. Answer its questions. Answer its five questions by using the spinner system. You have three strikes. The spinner will eventually become sluggish and erratic. If you do not lubricate, <laughs> lubricate it thoroughly, it will eventually become stuck, causing the cow to misinterpret it and attack you. Okay. Okay. What did you say? He did the bottom. Didn't he do the bottom? Entity? Oh god, what are we supposed to do? Big Bird, thank you for the five kisses. What am I doing here? That's a, that's a powerful zoom. What the fuck? <laughs> Do we got it? Huh? Oh, I got it. Okay. I'm trying to spin it, but it's not allowing me to spin. Oh, here. Condition. Universe. That's what he asked, I think, right? He did the bottom, or I have to lubricate it now? <laughs> what is the condition of the universe? Okay, I, okay, I can spin it now, but what the fuck am I doing? What is he? I think these are timed. I think we don't have infinite time like the first. We gotta really look at what he says right here. Okay, let's see. 
This is always the start of this is just figuring out how to frick to talk to these. Okay, there we go. Bottom. So, uh, diagonal up. So that was entity location. Where are we? Okay, this is usually how it starts. So where are we? Okay. We can we got to answer his questions. We do have to do it correctly, right? So we could just say universe. Right? Just universe? I guess. Or location universe. I get I mean I think universe itself was probably fine. Was that right, left, or just left? Let's see. If it was re- or question. Okay, question is how it started. Question, universe. Uh, okay, here. Oh, no, this is just what he says, and then we can work with him to... Okay, so let's read... What is this? Slow, far, bad, barely. Fast, close, good, very. Full rotation, opposite. So he just said universe? What the fuck? Do we say fast? Do we do fast? Let's do fast. The universe is good. Rotation is opposite. Oh, I did it fast, but I did also I did two things. Oh, well, I think it's still fine though Question stop. Okay. This is so hard. Like I love how different all of the like if you've watched the first two parts This is completely different from the other aliens. This is like so creative So we had question and then change question change Good Good. I think the wheel is stuck again, isn't it? Oh, that was a strike. Good is it wasn't good. Uh oh. <gasps> what? There's that shit. What I was doing. How did we win? How did we win? Excuse me? <laughs> what? Huh? The first, the, the first two were so hard and this one was like, I didn't even understand what he was saying. I just fucking... Okay, we gotta go back. Like, that didn't count. I have no idea. We gotta understand him at least a tiny bit before we do the classified one. <gasps> Totem! I'm so excited for that one, but we can't go there yet. We gotta at least... I guess we accidentally answered the questions correctly five times? Somehow? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, here we go. Be pay very close attention to the head. Okay, question... Top. Question... Loyalty. Do we say... Qu loyalty, good? Do we say... Far, bad, barely? Or close, good, very? Good loyalty, I guess. Fast, I would say. Is loyalty bad? Loyalty is good, I would say. Are we just gonna... Let's see. So we need to lubricate the wheel. Shall we just turn it all the way to the top? I'm gonna go all the way to the top. I'm gonna just do...
How did I, how did I incidentally get it all correct last time? I'm so confused. <laughs> we got one strike. So it loyalty is not good. Question. Question condition. Condition, good, bad? I would say condition is good. Right? No, it's not, we're not, we're not answering in. We're not using this to respond to him. We're using this to respond to him, right? I'm pretty sure we're doing, unless he, Oh, the speed at which he moves? Maybe both? So he asked question condition. What do we say? Both rules apply to both of us. Okay. Okay. I can't believe we accidentally got it correct. <laughs> I barely understood. We don't understand at all how this worked. And we just somehow did it. Okay. It's both or both. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Very interesting. So he asked question condition. Do we say change? Shall we say good change? Or we could say entity condition. Or good condition. Let's just do fast to condition. Took that answer. Okay. Makes sense. Good condition. What's he gonna say? Here we go. Slow movement. I I don't know if that's... Let's see. Question bottom diagonal up. Question entity location. Question entity location. Okay. So universe. That was fast. I, I say we just do universe quickly yeah good nice universe he's in the universe good universe Question. That was slow. That seemed slow. Question. Universe. Um. Far universe? Barely universe. Let me also real quick. Uh, there we go. Um, I don't think we want to multiple give multiple. We don't want to combine these. I think that's barely ever. I don't think. I mean, we kind of know that based off of our first try, where we barely did any combinations of this. We could say location good. Location good. Location good. Question. We say, or we could say, no, I'm going to say location good. So fast to location. Loop the spinner. And then we go location good. He took that. Nice. Nice. 
I think you have a lot of freedom in this. I think, I think this one is more open. Whereas the previous ones were more, there was like a clear good or bad answer. I think in this one, there's a lot of answers that can count as correct, which is why I exited. So question, top, okay. That seems slow. Question, change. Question, change. Isn't this already the last qu a question? Um, let's lube, lube it up. So is the change bad? And then we say amount good or good change? Amount good? Good change? I think good change. Or the opposite, the opposite. Because it's, he said, he asked if it was a bad change and we go rotate fully. No, opposite, good change. I'm gonna do, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn all the way around and then end on change. So that, or, right? Or full rotation opposite. Let's do a full rotation. He took that, he took that. And that's it, right? Nice! And we only missed that one because we didn't understand the language correctly. The cow has disappeared from all known modes of perception. Nothing was left behind except for its footsteps. Session closed. So we actually understand the language now. So how the language works is that the... This is really cool. Like, okay, so you have the directions where you can end up. That is like, that. that is a comp... That's like forming the sentence and then the speed at which you do it is the like the mood of uh of the of the conversation like of how you want to say it which is very cool try to die try to die i am curious what happens how he kills you that's actually a good idea let's try to die good good idea i'm really curious how he attacks attack time all right, here we go. We're just gonna, what if we don't loop the wheel at all? Uh, let me just, let's interpret it anyway though. Question. Question loyalty. No, you can't even rotate this wheel when it's not. Shall I just do the opposite? Wait, what now? Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> is the fucking wrecked? The cow has eliminated the translator. They were not careful with what they were saying. The remains have been removed. The session may begin again. <laughs> wow. Okay. Don't just spin the wheel in circles. Noted. They were not careful. Very cool. Again, highly recommend if you want to explore this more, check it out. I, I think this is great. Hi, YouTube. How are you doing? Uh, funny to see you here in the middle of this video. We are from the future, as you can see by the fact that this is green. Uh, we did this one. We just did it. I'm not going to tell you anything, though. You're going to have to see me play it because we're going to combine the cow part and the totem part together. Uh, this is amazing. This game is fantastic, but I'm not going to spoil you anything. You're just going to have to see it for yourself. Let's hop to the past me who is going to see this for the first time. And then after we're done with that, we'll be back here. But first, let's go. It is time. Are we ready, guys? Are we ready for Totem? Here we go. Codename Totem. Classified. Date of discovery, June 3rd, 512? Class unknown. A large pillar similar to a regular telephone pole. 
It has a large, disfigured, gored human head placed on top. Viewers of this object have described it as humanity's reject template and hell's display of dominance. It appears to emit electrical pulses. It does not seem to act intelligently, other than it constantly spinning in place. Intentions unknown. It might communicate using electrical pulses. Untested. What the fuck? What is in this house? There's a bun right there, but can I go to the house? Or it's just... No, I can't. <laughs> this game looks so amazing. What is that? Is, is that an alien shit? We're not even on Earth, are we? I don't know. Let's see. Let's press the button. Let's press the big bad button. Hello? Totem? What? Am I- am I a dummy? Okay, let's read- oh my god. Totem seems to emit random electrical clicks. Huh? You can't hold it. I'm holding it now, but it just does one click. Maybe we gotta- It's not doing... It's just clicking like super quick. Because you can't do long and short. You can't do long and short. All of the buns I press, like as long as I hold it, it's all just one click. What? That's auto clicker, by the way. Do I have to explore? That wasn't a thing before. I can't go to the house. There's an invisible wall right here that I'm walking up against. Wait, uh oh. <gasps> Flashes of light appear in your mind. They show alien images of the universe, galaxies, nebulas, black holes, quasars, exoplanets. They seem to have life. They have life. It was all hidden from us on purpose. They all seem to be amazingly advanced, at least 3,000 years ahead of us. There are alien technologies, computronium, pocket-sized antimatter generators, interdimensional mortars. It's an existential macabre experience. You have been trans- or your perceptions change. Uh, it's an existential macabre experience. You have been transported to a claustrophobic void. Everything is both, both infinitely far away and breathing directly in onto your skin. You sense the surface of an object in your right hand. It's familiar and empty. It's our universe. In your left hand, you feel something different. It's another universe. It feels completely different from ours, like holding your phone normally versus holding onto your phone's future. <laughs> I in this universe is minus 0 0.23. <laughs> the speed of light is non-existent. There is no experience even similar to it. Distances are exponential. There is a connection between them, or at least there will be one. They are, they are preparing for universal war, a conflict over existence, over which one has been blessed with better bodies, with, better, with the better warriors and weapons. Us. The three other entities were sent as a test to see if we were worthy and ready to join the ranks. The first tested relations and pressure. The second tested dealing with powerful threats. The third tested morals and reasoning. These are the other monsters, by the way. This one 
is a is one of the universe's neurons sent to connect the disparate and distant life forms around the universe. Together, they form a universal brain. Its shape is a reflection of our reputation and spirit. This is your call to arms. The time will come for you to fight for your existence. That okay, so that was man, what the heck? This game is just like fantastic. Wow, this this turn we I got so confused by this. This like it started in one way and then it just went the complete other way. <laughs> this is the most meta shit ever made. <laughs> okay, and now now we're back in the current year. Now we're back current year. And now we can outro the entire video. All right. Now we can outro the entire video. <laughs> well, um, what we we just, hi YouTube, welcome back. Uh, for the <laughs> sorry for the abrupt things. What we have just done is record. We're back. Uh, this is the continuation of what you saw in the middle of this video. We just finished recording that middle part, and now we're back. Now you've caught up with the timeline. We are back in the present, and this was absolutely- I love this game. This is such a magical game. This was so much better than I hoped. I was excited for this at the start, but it was so much more fantastic than I thought. That story at the end there with, like, it is fantastic. I love this. Absolutely just amazing. I want to see more uh, games like this. I want to see more of this concept. Please work on this. Developer, this is amazing. You got gold here fantastic but in any case that is gonna be the end for totem absolutely loved it uh thank you very much for hanging out thank you for watching all three parts uh it was a little bit strange to parts themselves uh for us to figure out how to do it but man this was fantastic i hope you enjoyed it if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike this like it and if you want to join the love the game share and chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash every single day at 7 p.m central european time I need to lay down after this. I need to, I have an ex, I'm just gonna go have an ex existential crisis. Uh, join me in the comments. <laughs> Let me know what you thought. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye guys. Love you. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. <laughs> this is the weirdest YouTube video I have ever made. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Well, let's go back into Totem for a second. To see, there's probably nothing special. I did, the button is such a jibay. And then it just, yeah. So cool! What the fuck? This game is fantastic! Holy shit, I am so glad we played this. Wow! Alright, well anyway, let's, uh, that, that's, we're done. We're done. You are still here, YouTube! What the fuck? Go ahead. We gotta go now. We gotta go before everything converges and the timeline explodes. Bye, YouTube! Bye! <laughs>